Welcome everyone to another Rebots episode. In this video, we will talk once again about our laser cutter engraver, the Atomstack X7. We will be using Lightburn to carry out multiple tests on different metallic objects. In this example, we will use an image of our logo. When you use an image, it is very important to remove the background, otherwise it will create a rectangle while engraving. As recommended by the manufacturer in their manual and by the community guidelines, we will be using the appropriate speed and power settings for the different type of materials. To engrave a stainless steel, they recommend using a speed of 400 mm per minute and maximum power. Another important parameter to take into account is the DPI, the dots per inch, or line interval. This defines the quality of the image when it's engraved. The more density of lines or dots, the more detail the image will have. However, more lines means also longer time to engrave. For above average quality and not excessive engraving time, we will use around 500 DPI. We will start by engraving a 10 by 10 and 2 mm thick aluminum plate. So this aluminum has not been altered and as you can see, nothing has been engraved whatsoever. It pretty much looks as new. Not even a dent or a mark, not even a shadow. On shiny surfaces it is recommended to paint it black. So that's what we will do in the next test. In this test we will use a black marker, just an MS on basics one. But for easy cleaning, it can also be done with erasable whiteboard markers. The reason to do this is due to the fact that the light beam concentrates more and it also prevents the piece from reflecting. So here we can see that actually it took off the paint. Let's see if actually engraved and left a permanent marking. So we will use some alcohol to clean, kind of be isopropyl. We are using alcohol to burn just for barbecue. <laughs> And as you can see, after cleaning the aluminum sheet, we can see a slight shadow engraved. Um, the best thing to do, I would recommend, is to do it a couple of times. But in reality, I would say this laser engraver is not the most appropriate to do this. So let's try now with stainless steel. I've got this flask and it's also shiny on the surface, but it's not as reflective as other metals. As you can see, it's going quite well. It's engraving, even though we haven't even painted the surface. So now that it's finished, let's check it out. To the touch, it's not too hot. And we can see it engraved quite well. Using our finger, we can see there's a slight smudge, maybe from the burning, but we can clean that with alcohol and check it out if it actually engraved. And after we clean it with the alcohol, it seems that the engraving is permanent and it's not just external burn. Now, let's go with the next uh, item. Now we will use a uh, stainless steel cutlery. A knife. Just a standard knife, butter knife. It can be seen that it has a greater reflective surface than in the previous case. But just in case, let's try it out without painting it. It seems that it recorded quite successfully and if you rub on it, it looks permanent. So I guess I'm not gonna steal that knife since my coworker's name is engraved on it. The quality is not as great as the previous one, but you can always paint and then engrave. Here we have a USB memory stick, and the material of this is unknown to us. Probably it's uh, aluminum. So let's try it out without painting it first. And now that it's finished, uh, let's check it out. We can see that it didn't engrave much, it just uh, left a shadow. Actually, it took the reflectiveness out of the material. As we weren't happy with the result, we try it out with a simple trick we're using all the time, painting it black. So here we have the result. Uh, normally after the paint you can see that there is some engraving, but we need to clean it to be sure. So grab your trusty cloth with some alcohol and clean it very thoroughly. As you can see, it did leave some marking and the ink uh, did fuse with the metal. But if you're thinking to use metals to engrave, we believe that this is not the best material. All in all, it did work quite well, and the laser engraver did its job. So we are quite happy with the result. Now, for our next item, it will be a DIN rail. We are not sure what type of material this is, because DIN rails are available in various base metals, which most of the common are steel, aluminum, stainless steel, and copper. And in addition, DIN rails are available in various finishes. The most common are zinc plated and yellow chromated steel. This is due to the fact that the outer layer is more vulnerable and it will sacrifice itself to protect the base metal. 
Here, as you can see, we were able to engrave on the outer layer of the chromated steel DIN rail. Now, cleaning a bit with our trusty cloth, it seems like it's a bit dirty now and it's rubbing in the ink from before and it's actually looking much better. So it could be one solution, just engrave and then paint and then clean. Finally, for our last test, it will be rust removal. We will create a rectangle with the same power and speed as the previous cases, but with a lower DPI to speed up a bit the process. This is not the best method to remove rust, but it's an interesting functionality of the laser engraver since it's a removal material from the outer layer. So here we have the result. It worked quite well, you can see it has been removed. With higher DPI, it would probably look better, and with a slower speed and higher power, it will also look better. Or you can do it a couple of times. So now we rub it a bit with our special cloth. As you can see, it does end up looking brighter despite initially staining it with the ink that the cloth had from the previous battle wounds. So to sum up, overall the laser engraver did its job and we're very happy with the results. The Atom Stack X7 Pro is powerful enough to engrave on some metals, and depending on the technique, it can engrave very good and stand out. It seems that the easiest material to engrave is stainless steel, and the index of refraction of the materials is very important. The less refractive the surface, the easier to engrave. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, doubts, or suggestions, please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.